Hi everyone, it's uh, Roxanne Durhaj of the Authentic Connection Movement. So today I'm going to pick up a little bit more about, um, you know, I talked earlier in the, in the week about what kind of things you could be, do to kind of keep your brain in a novel state. And then I talked a little bit more about as a manager, how is it that you um, really get people to focus on what you need them to do. So some of the things that I know worked very effectively with this particular team I was telling you about is I, I spent as much individual time as I, I, as I could with each one of them and really recognizing that um, everybody has a way that they want to be seen in the workplace. Um, people are willing to do lots of really phenomenal things, but if they feel like that you're, they're not validated or listened to, it's a difficult place for them to be. So with this team, I swear there were 10 personalities if there were 10 people. And as I got to know each one of them, I understood what their values were. What was important to them? Why did they pick the field they did? Um, what kind of management um, styles worked for them and what they needed from me as a leader? And what became clear is that once each person felt heard and seen, uh, what happened naturally was that I was able to get to the tactical uh, the the things that had to be done, the um, you know, uh, you know, the accountability issues around um, some of the things in reference to their uh, daily their daily and, and weekly workloads. Ultimately, what I did is I started to build trust. I did small things like, um, you know, at a Christmas dinner, I uh, created uh, team shirts that were red um, with our team name on it. I did barbecues where we all just kind of made something and got together where we could all kind of have a meal together. And then I, what I could say to you is, um, as we went, they looked forward to those events, but what became, it, uh, our meetings became more a get together. We understood where everybody was with time. It took a while, I can tell you. Uh, af after about five to six years of, of leading this team, I was able to come back in as a consultant and they were functioning as a self-working team. So some of the tactics that I did were very, very basics. But again, the, at the end of the day was what is their story? Who are they? How do I see them? And when they thought that I saw them, they believed that I could um, take the message back to upper management and their needs were taken into perspective. And at that point, like I said, this was a team that I would joke and say would uh, potentially take uh, have my face on, um, in their basement with poison darts on it laughingly. And at the end of the five to six days, they were self-functioning. And today I'm still connected with all those team members. So my challenge for you is to think, what can I do? What's their story? What do they value? What hasn't worked well for them? And to try to make a change. So I hope this was helpful. If you're wanting more information on me, I work um, with mental health and resilience. I'm a keynote speaker. I do full day and half day trainings, and I'm also a coach. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.